Let's turn to Pakistan. The economy we know is sinking there. The situation in the country is so bad that the government is holding cabinet meetings on guess what? Rotis and naans. You heard that right. The flat breads have literally become Imran Khan's new bread and butter issue. We'll tell you why. Imran Khan called for a cabinet meeting the day before yesterday. And during the course of this meeting, the Prime Minister expressed displeasure over the rise in the prices of rotis and naans in Pakistan. Today, rotis are being sold for anywhere between 10 to 12 rupees per piece. That's around 0 0.062 dollars. Naans cost a little more. The, a piece comes uh, for anything between 12 to 15 rupees. That's uh, 0 0.075 dollars. Now, naans and rotis were cheaper around a month ago. Rotis would have cost between 8 to 10 rupees and naans anywhere between 7 to 8 rupees per piece. Now, these prices were hiked on the 30th of June. This was because of an increase in gas tariffs. A hike in prices of fuel, electricity and flour also added to the plight of these people. As a result of all of this, the prices of roti and naan increased by up to 4 rupees per piece. All of this was discussed in Imran Khan's cabinet meeting. The Prime Minister was reportedly angry. He ordered that the prices be rolled back to the pre-June 30th levels. The increase in gas tariff was also discussed. And a day after this meeting, the PTI government rolled back the increased gas tariffs for roadside tandoors. But is it enough to bring down the prices of naans and rotis? The government passed the order. Provincial authorities are expected to implement it. But can the tandoori walas really afford to reduce their selling price? The answer is no. The citizens of Pakistan are battling inflation. According to numbers released today, the country's consumer inflation for the month of July has accelerated to 10.3%. This is a year-on-year -year number. According to Pakistan's Bureau of Statistics, the increase in inflation was driven by higher food and fuel prices. Prices of food and non-alcoholic beverages have seen 7.9% increase. Gas prices have risen one, uh, 143%. Petrol prices have risen 23%. Today again, Pakistan hiked the prices of petrol and diesel by 5.15 rupees per litre and 5.65 rupees per litre respectively. Now, ever since Imran Khan has assumed office, the people of Pakistan do not seem to feature on his list of priorities. The PTI government is either busy exporting terror or fighting lost battles. In the latest, Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has said that his country is open to U.S. mediation on Kashmir. Of course they are. Qureshi made these remarks while addressing a meeting of parliamentary committee in Jammu and Kashmir, their side of it. It is bizarre that the Imran Khan government thinks that it can continue to fight proxy wars when its country's economy is all over the place. The country has an external debt of 30,000 billion rupees. According to Pakistan's economic survey, the country has missed growth targets in most of its sectors. The country is being closely monitored by world bodies like the FATF and the IMF, the International Monetary Fund. While the world is talking about innovation, artificial intelligence and manufacturing, Pakistan is struggling to feed its poor, talking about naan and rotis, which is fine. In short, the situation is disastrous. It's high time that Imran Khan focused on the real issues at hand.